That is something you don't see every day, a Honda CTX 200 parked next to my Honda CTX 700. I think the only reason it's got the CTX brand is because of this bike. Um, as you all know, they didn't really make many of these bikes, Honda CTX 700s. It's more of a test in the market, I'd say, versus a long-term thing. I've just got new chain and sprockets installed, back to the original um, specs of the 43 rear, 16 front. Previously I had the DCT one on there for some silly reason. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, it's nice. It's much better. So we're at 96,735 kilometres on the old girl. So another 4,000 kilometres, I'll probably drop it back in, do a full service, get everything looked at for a 100,000 kilometre birthday. Now that I got back to the standard size, uh, sprockets, the speedo is now going to be inaccurate, which is the only advantage of putting the DCT sprockets on. Um, so what it means is it's going to be 8% out. So that would be fun to go across on the bike. <laughs> that rear does not feel balanced. Take it out on the highway and see how it goes. So today is now the next day and I wanted to do this on a different day because that I could actually go in the 100 kilometer zone. As you can see, the speedo inaccuracy is, is now back in play, whereas before with the DCT sprocket on the rear, that is the 39 teeth sprocket on the rear, um, the speedo is bang on. But you can see there's a little bit of inaccuracy here. Anyway, I can feel the vibrations on my rear. Um, indicates to me that even though the shock balanced it, um, it has probably got a light spot in the tyre which is lined up with the light spot in the rim. So that is one option and the resolution for that is to break the bead, rotate the tyre on the rim and then reset it and then rebalance it. Alternatively, the issue could be simple as the tyre is defective but because I bought it online uh, it's, I can't take it back to that same shop to go hey your tyre's buggered so I'd, you know not have to pay for a new tyre but you know we'll see. like the shop did a test ride on it when they did the balance and the chain and sprockets but they didn't go any faster than 60 kilometres so perhaps didn't even go faster than 50 so they wouldn't have even been able to pick up on the, that fact but it is bouncy so 8% inaccuracy so with my camera straight now <laughs> So with my rear wheel, it got balanced at the motorcycle shop, but I don't think it's balanced properly. I think that the light spot is still um, lining up with the t light spot on the tire and the light spot on the rim. So what that means is no matter how good they think that they've balanced it, it actually feels funny. Like it, between, let's say 55 and 75, it's you can feel the vibration if I just talk you can hear it in my voice right it's like da -da 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 -da. so I'm just pulling into this housing estate because ultimately it could be either the tire which let's be honest it's got to be that because it's the only thing that's been changed or it's my suspension and it's probably not that but it could be so I can isolate that by putting the bike on the center stand so I'm just going to go up here to my test bed up in this housing estate and don't get me wrong the motorcycle shop has done a great job balancing it but something is going on that's not normal that you wouldn't normally see on the on a balancing and these Michelin Pilot Road 6 sorry the Mission Road 6s are actually a good tire and they don't usually have a, a light spot but it just seems a bit odd let's pop it in first I'm not really 
you feel it up there. Just for a second. Yeah, look at that tire, look. It's the tire. It's got to be. That tire does not look good. I wonder why I'm getting some bouncing. Let's have a look at the rim. The rim doesn't look too bad. That tire is not good. Look how much that is bouncing. even not sitting on the rim right or the tire itself is dodgy hmm. all right my ABS is now off <laughs> can do some skids oh just did a skid <laughs> all right that's obviously not cool all right let's put it back on yeah, so after a bit of deliberation, like I, I can't leave the bike in that condition with the tyre. Um, lowering the PSI did marginally help, and enough to that kind of like, yeah, I won't think about it, I won't notice it. But it's not good for the tyre, it's not good for the bike, it's not good for, for anything. You have that wobble at those low speeds, and it's probably a really fast wobble at higher speeds. So I need to call the motorcycle shop to see if they can help me out and fix this. I suspect it's just the tyre needing re-beading onto the rim uh, to get it straight, but we'll see. Oh, they're calling me back. Hello? Adrian speaking. Okay, Adrian, it's Jaden from Elite Motorcycles, how are you? Yeah, good mate, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, so, I dropped my bike in last week to get uh, chain and sprockets and the rear tyre balanced. Yes. Um, now I've ridden the bike again um, I, this week and it's still like, I needed the, the rear tire balance because it was giving this wobble and it's still giving that wobble. So I, I don't think it's actually the balance of the tire. So I put it on the center stand and put it in gear and watch the rear tire spin. The rim looks fine, but the, the tire itself doesn't look like it's seated on the bead um, straight. So it, it moves up and down, if that makes sense, when it spins. Oh, okay, on the left or the right hand side? Uh, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, oh, okay. Yep, yep. No, fair enough. How many k's are on that top one? Oh, uh, less than 100. Um, yeah, you're more than likely to bring the bike in. We can certainly get the, the wheel off and have a look. Yeah, that, that'd be good. I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't need a new tyre if the one on there is defective or whatever, but, you know, if it is yeah, that, then... Did you, did you refit that tyre, or...? Um, I put it on, on the rim myself, but you guys beaded it for me. Yeah. So, yeah. No, easy done. But yeah, if you want to bring bring the bike in, mate, we'll have a look. Hopefully, um, like when you're putting that tire and it hasn't cut the bead. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, mate. If you want to drop it in, I won't be able to get to it straight away. You can certainly drop it off though. Yeah, sure. Anyway, yeah, yeah. No, awesome. Thanks, Adrian. I'll talk to you soon. No worries. Thank you very much. So just to get another shot of the wheel, and you can see. So it looks all right when it's not spinning, but we'll start it up because I'm not sure if I'll film this at the motorcycle mechanic because, you know, they're doing their thing. I'm not going to be able to stand there with a camera. The rim looks fine, but the wheel, you can see it's noticeably wobbling. The rim looks all right, but the wheel is bouncing around. It's just boom, boom, boom. It's having a big party there. So I'm hoping I don't need a new tire, but it's definitely a potential uh, um, fix for it. Well, it's the next day now, and I've got a new tire. Right, so this is the the old tire. As you can see, it's brand new, but it's, it's defective. It's got a a low spot on it, and you wouldn't notice it by looking at it. But anyway, they fitted a new tire. Um, that's a lot better with just just that amount of weights. The other tire had more than double that amount of weight on it. 
Um, yeah, so same tyre, fitted on the bike again, and um, problem solved. Now I've got to try and do a warranty job on this tyre, but I don't know if it's worth the, the hassle. I might just donate it to someone that wants to do burnouts. Anyway, that's the end of the saga, and bike fixed. Ah, here's my lift. Um, you just go, I'm just going to give it a test ride to make sure it's all good. Right. I love you. That rear tyre, it is so much different. It's smooth. Wow, that's fantastic. I don't even have to get up to highway speeds to know they, that this is how it should feel. It's great. It's, now that I've got two new tyres on my bike, the right chain and sprockets are on it. it zippy again it feels like i've got my bike back it feels like i lost my bike for a couple of years and now i've got it back because the old spirit of the bike is back in here again she's zippy she's powerful full of low-end torque and it and it just rides great look at this it's just it's just amazing now it it's really made my day well that's it for the saga of the tire what a nightmare, and it's costly. Like, it wasn't cheap to get Elite Motorcycles to put that new one on, but now that that's all done and dusted, it's, um, yeah, it's amazing now. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for sticking around with the Saga, and I'll see you all next time. Leaders! Ah. Hey, that's a nice bike.